What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on NHL 20 where we will be doing another career simulation video. Today's video will be on a player who's deeper into their career than most of the players I've done so far and that is Matt Barzell. Barzell was selected 16th overall by the New York Islanders in 2015 and was part of the stacked 2015 draft class that saw many of today's stars such as Connor McDavid, Jack Eichel, Mitch Marner, Sebastian Ajo, the list from that year just goes on and on. Barzell has about three NHL seasons under his belt so far, and in his first season, he did take home the Calder Trophy for being the Rookie of the Year. So far in his career, Matt Barzell has a total of 59 goals and 148 assists for 207 points in 234 NHL games. He's a two-time All-Star and one of the best skaters in the league up there with guys like Connor McDavid and Nathan McKinnon. So today on NHL 20, we'll be taking control of a Western Conference team and doing whatever we can to stay out of the way of the New York Islanders and Matt Barzell in the simulation. Then after each year, we're going to be checking in on his stats as well if he wins any awards. With all this being said, now let's see how Barzell is looking heading into year number one of this simulation. So heading into year number one, Matt Barzell is starting off on the first line at center playing between Josh Bailey and Anders Lee. Barzell is a few years deep like I said and already starting at 86 overall with medium elite potential and has some impressive stats. 92 speed, 92 deking, 91 offensive awareness, and 89 shot accuracy. Now let's start the sim and see what him and the York Islanders can do in year number one. So in year one, the New York Islanders have a pretty solid season, finishing ninth in the league and go on to make the Stanley Cup playoffs. In the playoffs, they match up with the Washington Capitals, who went on to win the Cup and lose to them in just five games. Matt Barzell's regular season was a good one that saw him at pretty much a point per game as he scored 33 goals and 49 assists for 82 points in 81 games. In the short five-game playoff run, he literally was nowhere to be found and didn't record a single point and was a minus four. Good regular season awful playoffs and with this we do see him increase up to an 89 overall. Also this was the last year of his entry level contract and in the offseason he re-signs with the New York Islanders on an 8 year long extension worth 9.2 million dollars per year. After a solid season the year before, the Islanders fell off a bit in the following year and finished 24th in the league and missed out on the playoffs altogether. Although the team wasn't too great this year, Barzell had another big year that saw him score 34 goals and 53 assists for 87 points on the year. Barzell is up to a 91 overall and hopefully the Islanders can turn things around. For the second straight year, the New York Islanders are on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoffs as this year they finished 19th in the NHL. Once again, Matt Barzell has another big season, scoring 23 goals and 63 assists for 86 points in 78 regular season games. He increases up to a 92 overall, and hopefully we see him back in the playoffs next year. The Islanders bounce back finally in year number 4 and have a huge regular season that sees them finish 4th in the NHL and back in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Once again, the playoffs are a disappointment, and this time they are swept by the Philadelphia Flyers in the first round. Matt Barzell's regular season was a shortened one due to injury, and in the 59 games he played in, he scored 20 goals and 43 assists for 63 points in the regular season. This year's playoffs were much better for him than the one in year one that saw him literally do nothing, and this playoffs he scored two goals and an assist for three points in four games. Matt Barzell does drop an overall though, and is back down to a 91 overall. Year 5 sees the Islanders have another massive regular season, finishing 6th in the league and even winning the Metro Division. The playoffs were better than other years, but still nothing too special. They knocked out the Buffalo Sabres in the first round in 6 games, and fell to the Canes in 6 in the second round. Matt Barzell had a monstrous regular season and put up 36 goals and 62 assists for 98 points in the regular season, and in the playoffs scored 2 goals and 6 assists for 8 points in 12 playoff games. After breaking his career best in points, we do see Barzell all the way up to a 93 overall. The Islanders fall in the standings a bit to 18th in the league and barely sneak into the playoffs in year number 6. Once again in the postseason, they got out of the first round beating the Carolina Hurricanes in 6, but were swept in the second round by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Matt Barzell's regular season was another shortened one due to injury that only saw him play in 44 games. In those 44 games, he scored 19 goals and 32 assists for 51 points and in the playoffs was solid scoring 7 goals and 6 assists for 13 points in 10 playoff games. Matt Barzell does drop an overall once again and he's back down to a 91. For the fourth straight year, the New York Islanders make the postseason, this time after finishing 7th in the league. The playoffs were a complete disaster as they got swept by the New Jersey Devils in the first round. Barzell was able to stay healthy this season for the most part, but did have an off year for his standards. In 78 games, Matt Barzell scored 21 goals and 48 assists for 69 points and in the four playoff games put up two assists. With all this, Matt Barzell stays put at 91 overall. The Islanders playoff streak improves to 5 straight years after another Metro Division win and finishing 7th in the NHL. 
The playoffs, though, are still the same old story where the Islanders simply cannot put together a deep run. This year saw them fall in the first round once again, this time to the Toronto Maple Leafs in five games. Matt Barzell had a full healthy regular season for the first time in a few years and scored 28 goals and 46 assists for 74 points on the year, and in the five playoff games had two goals and an assist for three points, and once again remains at 91 overall. In the last remaining year of Matt Barzell's current contract, the Islanders once again make the playoffs after finishing 17th in the NHL. The playoffs were different for once and saw the Islanders take out Columbus and Toronto, but fall to the Tampa Bay Lightnings in the Eastern Conference Finals in seven games. Solid run, but who knows if this will be enough for Barzell to want to re-sign with the Islanders. Speaking of Matt Barzell, he scored 30 goals this year along with 43 assists for a total of 73 regular season points, and in the playoffs scored 4 goals and 7 assists for 11 playoff points in 20 playoff games. Barzell remains at 91 overall, and in the offseason does decide to re-sign with the New York Islanders on a 7-year deal worth $10.8 million per year. After six straight playoff appearances in year 10, the New York Islanders do have a poor regular season that sees them finishing 28th in the league, breaking their six-year playoff streak. Matt Barzell in the first year of his new deal has another pretty good season where we see him score 16 goals and 60 assists for 76 points on the regular season. Matt Barzell does increase in overall and is now back up to a 92. So 10 years into this simulation, Matt Barzell has now played in 913 NHL games, has scored 300 goals and 606 assists for 906 career points so far. Almost a point per game in his career, and as for point totals and personal numbers, Barzell has had a very decent run so far. The only thing against him really is a lack of hardware. He does have a Calder Trophy from 2018, but other than that, no other awards or Stanley Cups, and hopefully that does change soon as we head into year number 11. For the second straight year, the New York Islanders do have another disappointing regular season, this one seeing them finish 22nd in the NHL. Despite the team not doing too great, Matt Barzell did have a big 87-point regular season after scoring 21 goals and 66 assists. Despite having one of his better seasons in a few years, Matt Barzell does drop an overall back down to a 91. The Islanders once again finished 22nd in the league and missed the playoffs by just one point. Honestly, I don't really care though because they probably weren't going to win the cup and now they at least have a shot at the draft lottery. Anyway, Matt Barzell had a drop off in production this year and in 78 games put up 19 goals and 43 assists for 62 points. With this, we do see the 34 year old drop all the way back down to an 88 overall. Finally, the Islanders get things back together and put up a huge regular season that has them finishing third in the NHL as well as winning the Eastern Conference and the Metro Division. As per usual, the playoffs were a disappointment and the Islanders fell to the Tampa Bay Lightning in the first round in six games. Matt Barzell once again had a regular season similar to his last few and in 80 games Barzell scored 16 goals and 48 assists for 64 points and in the playoffs had 5 assists in 6 games. Once again, he decreases in overall, most likely due to age, and he's now down to an 87 overall. After somehow finishing third in the entire league the year before, the next season the Islanders fall off of a cliff and finish near the bottom at 27th. Matt Barzell at 36 years old still put up good numbers for his age and this year he scored 13 goals and 45 assists for 58 points and we do see a big drop off for him in overall as he's now down to an 83 overall. After an awful regular season the year before, the New York Islanders turned things around quickly and came back and made the playoffs the following year after finishing 13th in the NHL. To literally no one's surprise though, the Islanders went absolutely nowhere in the postseason and were taken out by the Rangers in 6 games of the first round. 37 year old Matt Barzell played in 72 games in the regular season and in them scored 15 goals and 27 assists for 42 points and in the playoffs did literally nothing. Matt Barzell drops to an 81 overall and does decide to call it a career and retire. So, after 15 years in the NHL, Matt Barzell, when you look at his personal numbers, had a really great career. He played in 1,305 NHL games, scored 384 goals and 835 assists for 1,219 career NHL points. Although these numbers are more than impressive, he never won anything aside from the Calder Trophy, and this definitely would hurt his legacy if this were to happen in real life. As always, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you think his numbers in the sim is worth a spot in the Hall of Fame. Personally, I say no. I understand that over a thousand games played and over a thousand points are a lot, but I feel like you definitely need at least an Art Ross or a Hart Trophy to be able to get in, and of course a Stanley Cup or two couldn't hurt. Once again, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.